Dr. Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody. It's been a minute, but I want to assure you that God is good. Come on, somebody. I'm actually going to wait till, um, till a couple of more people get up on here. Praise God. Praise God. Um, I don't see too many people right now. How are you doing? God bless you. I've missed you all. Woo! But after this video, you're going to understand a whole lot. I am so full. Um, it, it's It's been. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, and um, I don't want to get started right now till some people get up on here. Okay. All right. Praise God. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing flowing. I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to tag and you're going to want to share. You don't hear me. You're going to want to tag and share. So the title of it is called Battle ready i'm gonna try to slow this thing down because you ever notice when the holy ghost get on you for real it's like you're trying to hurry up so I, but i want to teach this thing the way god told me to teach it so spiritual warfare that's what i'm here to talk about today which that's my mandate spiritual warfare so i should have known i don't know why i didn't know when you have a mandate for spiritual warfare that's because you're going to constantly go through come on somebody i feel the power of god already spiritual warfare so let me slow this thing down because i want you to catch this so in a when back in the day when blacksmiths and some of them are still making swords but i'm talking about the old time blacksmiths what they would do is and, and, and guess what the king protected them because they were preparing people for war the swords could not break in a battle oh come on somebody the title of this is battle ready God saying you got to be battle ready. And so before you get battle ready, there's a things that's going to happen. First of all, you, I wrote down three things. God says, number one, you're going to be tested. I don't care who you are. You can give a million dollars a day. You can pray all day long. You could be anointed and appointed all day long. You will going, you're going to be tested because the second point is, so the first one is you're going to be tested. So I'm sorry. I don't care if you're a nun, you're going to be tested. The second point is God will never trust you before he tests you. You know how many people messing up God's name out there? Come on, somebody. So the second point is God will never trust you before he tests you. That's why everybody in the Bible had to get tested because God said, I know who you are, but I need you to know what's up in you for real. Come on, somebody. Because some people, they, they, you, you know how you, you think you know, but you don't know until you go through something. And the third thing is never trust a sword i.e. put in parentheses person who hasn't been tempted and you can understand what tempted means because tempted is a military term so the three key points is you're going to be tested i don't care if you don't never go nowhere you can stay at home you're going to be tested number two god will never trust you before he tests you number three never trust a sword in parentheses a person who has not been tempted and tempted really is a military term now let's go with the story so in the old days the blacksmiths they would beat the sword into a sword so basically they had steel and they had something like steel so it wasn't a sword yet so they would beat it and you know they had the fire on it and the fire was getting hot the fire had to be high because it was still against steel well this is how swords are made there's molecules in a sword right and what happened is there's dark particles and the dark particles it tells you if if it's if it's actually ready battle ready come on somebody let me try to slow this thing down so they would beat it and beat it and beat it and what they were trying to do was it didn't it couldn't have any molecules because those dark molecules got dark spots i.e sins i.e hidden sins come on somebody hallelujah so he would beat it and they would beat it and they would beat it until they couldn't see the dark spots anymore. And they had to do that because let's say the king or even the other people, they would go in intense battle. They had to have a sword that could not break in battle. There it goes right there. They had to have a sword that would not break even in intense battle. Oh, come on somebody, I'm gonna come around and catch that thing in a minute. Have you been in a battle lately? Come on somebody, an intense battle? Did you break? Is there dark spots? Is there sins that God is trying to let you see? You need to handle with that before you go to the next level. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So anywho, the blacksmith had to make sure. And, the, and what they would do, they would hold it up. And they would put it intense fire, intense fire, intense fire, still up on steel. And they would hold it up to see if it had any dark particles. If it did not have any dark particles, it was ready to be used. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Are you ready to be used? Oh, come on, somebody. And let me go. I got to say this. This is what they will go through. The fire, the beating, 
the cold water. The fire, the beating, the cold water. Every sword had to go through this. I'm talking about for a good sword. I'm talking about them cheap swords. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking about a good servant. I'm not talking about a wicked servant. Oh, come on, somebody. So have anybody ever been in the fire, chastised, beating, cold? I'm going to let you cool down. Fire, beating, cold water. I'm going to let you rest for a season. Fire, beating, cold water. They would do this over and over again until it had no spots and blemish. Somebody cut that. God will allow you to be tested and tested and tested. And, and don't lie because I'm going to be very transparent. That test again so intense. It'll back you up. <laughs> it'll back you up. I don't care who you are, how anointed and appointed. It'll back you up. It'll make you cry. It'll, it'll make you say, why me? It'll make you not understand what's wrong with this one. What's wrong with that one? Why are they doing that? Why? God told me to tell you the reason why he's allowing you to be tested so that you can be trusted. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, and to be honest with you, it was your declaration that, that carried the test. Don't you understand what happened when Peter and they was all having their food and everything? And Peter say, I don't care about the rest, but but I ain't going to never leave you or forsake you. And Jesus say, oh, Peter, you shouldn't have said that. Because as soon as you declare something out your mouth, you have to be tested. People don't understand that. I.e., I'm using myself for example. I'm starting this business. Y'all don't want to know what has came, gone, came again, gone. It, it has been so intense. I, 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 I'm real. I, I don't know. I don't know how to fake lie. And all. I ain't. I, I cry. I'm, y'all need, need this transparency. But I know how to go to God. I, I know how to stay with God. God, I don't understand. He said, look at the bigger picture. He said, not only that you're going to a different level. He said, I, I have to have you tested and tried because each level I need to know, can you stand? Are you battle ready? Are you going to break, Deanna? So, so, so I'm, I'm going to put you through that fire, that beating, but, but I'm going to cool it off a little bit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because each level, can you stand? See, we all want the blessings. We, we all want to be anointed. But honey, will you break? Will you, will, and you are likened to the sword. Will you break when it's intense battle? That's why. And, and, and he spoke that this morning, to be honest with you. That's why I'm giving y'all the message. He said, Deanna, I, I know you're hurting. I know you don't understand. I, I know it's been this and that and this and that. And why y'all think y'all like saw me on here? I've been in warfare. Come on, somebody. You see, you see them little cute people. Oh, y'all gonna get mad at me. The ones that don't never have nothing going on. <laughs> That's because the devil ain't messing with them. <laughs> so, anywho, let me continue. Go say, you are required to go through the fire, the beating, and then I'll cool it down. Because what's in you has to come out. And I have to make sure that there's no blemishes or spots. Come on, somebody. So when you are in that intense battle, you don't break. You don't give up. You don't cry too much. I know you're going to cry a little bit because I'm God. Hallelujah. And my test is God-like. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because God's not black man. You see, man, man, I give you an excuse. Oh, oh you, you, you this and you that, whatever. You know how we like to give excuse, excuses to others for sin, which I don't condone. I don't care how young or old you are. You know you dirty. You can get mad if you want to. Yeah, I said how I said because if I'm dirty, I'm dirty. Hallelujah. But anywho, let's get back. So a lot of you are going through the fire, the beating, and the cold press, the fire, the beating, the cold press, which is the same elements for Aleph because the crushing of the oral. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God told me to tell you, hold on, because he wants you to be battle ready. You see, you can say what you want. Everybody popping up with ministries, Facebook, it's all about a dollar, most of them. You know that. I don't care how anointed. I don't care. I don't care. I've seen the anointing, the, uh, you know, turn. You understand what I'm saying? So, I just want to encourage you. Because I don't mind telling you. The reason why you ain't saw me up here, I'm in intense battle. And I ain't gonna lie. I was ready, but I really wasn't. Because, let me tell you something. You don't understand. You don't understand. I get excited. The steel upon steel, which is the fire upon fire. As a Christian, the fire comes from God. So, you'll never know what to expect. You see, man, I know what to expect. I, I know some of y'all shaded. But with God, you don't know what tests, what turns, what trials, what what this, what that. And, and he and he does it on purpose because he wants to know how you act. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. How you act under pressure, how you stand under pressure, how you talk under pressure, how you walk under pressure. Because we want this, but if you can't handle no pressure, you <laughs> Yeah, y'all get it. Everybody want this. 
you know, and I don't really don't agree with the person who said that more money, more problems, but that's real. More anointing, more problems. Because God got to know, can I trust you? So I'm going to give you those three points again. You're going to be tested on every level. And that's how I know. I, remember I told y'all this, those that follow me, I was going to another level. Not just for no business. Y'all just looking at the business. This is about way, way more than business, trust me. <laughs> Number two, you, God will never trust you. I mean, trust you before he tests you. You're going to have to be tested by God. And it's not like God don't know what's in you. God wants you to know what's in you. You see how you're acting? You see what you said? You see what you did? I need you to check that. How are you going to walk in this anointing or this level that I have you going to? So it's about spiritual maturity. You have to grow. And to be honest with you, some people just get so silly. And, and the third point, never trust a sword, i.e. person who has not been tempted. Now, tempted is a military term. So because what I told you about the fire, the beating and the cold press, that's what they call the process of, of going through the sword, of making the sword, i.e. person. You're going to be tempted, tempted to cuss, tempted to fuss, tempted to, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to be real up in here. <laughs> Come on, somebody. That, that, that pressure, that, 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 pre that pressure be applied. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But God said, I'm teaching you how to talk, how to walk, how to act with my anointing. Because I'm going to be honest with you, some people are anointed and they're ugly. Inside, you know it. I mean, cuss, fuss, do everything. You be looking like, I know they're anointed, but what's going on? Y'all know it. Come on, somebody. I don't have time to play games. We really don't. And I want to tell you something else that just, this just came in my spirit. Don't let people provoke you. Oh, I'm going to go here. I.e., give you an example. Like in high school, because that's what's going on, I noticed. Let's say I don't like somebody, right? And you're my middle friend. So I'll start telling you not to like that person because I don't like them. I, I see that a lot. I don't play that game. If a person, no. If God tells me to, I'm going to do it. And not my mama, not my daddy, not my cousin. not Nobody can't tell me nothing about that person. I just say something they ain't ready for me, Lord. Y'all better, better grow up and quit playing because what God has for a person is what God has for a person, and you can't stop it. You can't block it. Well, well you could try. I mean, you you and you might succeed with some things, but let me tell y'all something. God does not play. I have learned that. Y'all can say what you want. You see, that's why I don't play with y'all. At the end of the day, and and this is, and I'm gonna get up and get off of here. Let me tell you something. Yes, we're human. Sometimes we get mad, we get hurt, we get in our feelings, we say and do things. That's everybody. I don't care what I don't care. I don't care. Now let's be real. But I don't got stop it. Somebody push your buttons, you're gonna trust somebody and tell somebody how you feel because you're venting. So let's keep it a hundred up in here. However, you still have to well, what does God say? People don't do that no more. People go with what people say. I'm going with what God say. I don't care what nobody say. Because at the end of the day, I know God is not to be played with. What am I saying? <laughs> Try going against God if you want to. And I'm ending with this. God said, I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemies. You don't have to answer nobody. You ain't got to say nothing. And hold on. We all vent. I get that. But just don't go too far, right? God got you, sister. God got you, brother. And I don't care. They can't stop you. I'm telling you, I've been going through this since I was 27 years old. Family, friends, I'm going to call it. I don't care. I ain't saying no names. I mean, I sometimes I... I do cry. I'll be like, but I ain't did nothing. I keep forgetting who I am. I went for my aunt some food. And this is going to be the last point. I got to go. And she was telling me what another family member would say. I'm just going to be real with you. And I, I was hurt. I don't even mess with this girl. Why she, whatever, whatever. But she said something. Guess what she said? She said, I know what's wrong. You're too powerful. And I've never heard her talk like that. Because we really don't know each other on that level. I've been gone for 30 years, right? But when she said it, I got home. And you know how you play back a conversation? I said, wait a minute. Did she say I was too powerful? So somebody that don't even know me can say, you're too powerful. <laughs> that, and hold on, I'm not trying to be arrogant. I, I'm making a point here. I said, Lord, because even a sinner know you when you're with God. I'm not saying I'm perfect. That, I ain't going to never lie about that one. But I know I'm with God because that's all I got. Y'all hear what I said. So I just want to encourage you. Apostle Deanna, I haven't been on here. I'm going to get back more on here. I've been hit. I've been hit to the love, the right. I, I, ooh, made me back, back. And when y'all don't see him up here, that's because I, 
I have to rely on God. I can't do this by myself. I don't going to get up in here crying. And I was crying, but y'all ain't going to never see it like that. I went to God. You see, because when we get hit, we like to go to people. We like to go to social media. I'm not saying don't vent. If that's your thing, do it. Whatever. I go to God. God, just give me strength. God, I don't understand this. God, keep me. God, I'm about to snap because, you know... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to be fake. I don't know. I try. I try to be. I have to, God got to talk to me because I used to. And truth be told, we still got to. God keep me saved because they try me. They don't know me. Oh, I'm the only one. I'm the only one when you're by yourself talking about. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I got to pray. I got to stay prayed up. Because uh, <laughs> I used to snap, pop crack and pop on somebody quick and so i still gotta stay prayed up yes i'm anointed yes i love the lord yes i'm appointed yes i can preach yes i can teach yes i can reach and i'm human <laughs> i gotta stay god keep me because i wasn't always saved that's what was real that's how you gotta stay close to god <laughs> and, and you know it's so crazy because people don't understand and this i keep saying i'm gonna end right i'm gonna end with this though this is what I came to conclusion. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, people put them in. And I'm talking about the, most of the famous ones. The ones y'all see out there that love the world and God says don't even be friends with the world. But hey, whatever. They brought their place. Somebody liked them and put them in position. But us, the remnant, you know how we got qualified? Because we were disqualified. We was doing everything but a child of God out there. And God saw, I'm, I'm just saying, he saw on this stone, he said, you see that one right there? I'm going to take the foolish to confound the wise. But I'm going to use them because they're crazy. <laughs> they, can, they can stand in a battle because they didn't been through some battles. Y'all ain't ready for me. So if you ain't been through nothing, you can't tell nobody nothing. If you ain't been through nothing, you can't stand through nothing. Oh, I just said something. Hallelujah. So yes, the remnant, we were called because we were disqualified at one time. And God said, I'm going to clean you up and I'm going to teach how to walk respectively, circumspectively. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach how to walk like a child of God. And I think people forget that where we come from. Like that little baby that be on Facebook, everybody see. You know, people do me wrong. I ain't going to lie. be like, <laughs> you <Yeah>, okay. <laughs> so we have to stay prayed up. And that's real talk. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. And I love the Lord with all my heart. But y'all know. So I just want to encourage you all to be strong. I'm sorry, somebody just walked uh, from, oh, you know, against my camera. So I just want to see who that was. Well, all right. I love you guys. I love you all. I'm going to be back. Um, This was a hard, hard test opening up this business. I had so much warfare, but I forgive all. I know God is good. And he wouldn't have given me the assignment if I couldn't fulfill it. Oh Lord, it was some. I'm almost at the end, so it's gonna be all right. God is good. You give Him glory. You give Him glory, cause don't you understand? You had to go through that, because guess what? It's His glory. Come on, somebody. I don't care what you're going through. Remember, it's for His glory. It ain't about you, for real. He gonna get the glory, because when it happened, they are gonna say it had to be God. Hallelujah. So y'all know what time it is. <laughs> Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, be like it in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Miss you guys. Stay strong in the Lord. God bless.